Last time, we did an exercise on the first angle projection. Today, we will do exercises on the third angle projection. Please copy the third angle principle. Suppose you are told to draw this object in third angle projection. Before proceeding, let's analyze the drawing. The front view is on the right, and the end view is on the left. Let me help you visualize the front view through an animation. Let's apply the third angle principle. What you see on the right, you draw on the right. The front view is on the right, therefore we will draw it on the right. Now you must be wondering why I am drawing the front view at the bottom. Well, in third angle projection, the front view is always below the plan view. We will look at that in a while. Let's watch the animation for the end view. What you see on the left, you draw on the left. The end view is on the left, therefore we will draw it on the left. And finally, let's see the animation for the plan view. What you see from above, we draw above. Therefore, in third angle projection, the plan view will always be above the front view. It is actually quite simple. Now let's work out another exercise. Please sketch the drawing with all its dimensions. Now the front view is on the left and the end view is on the right. Let's see an animation for the front view. What you see on the left, you draw on the left. The front view is on the left, therefore we will draw it on the left. Let's see the animation for the end view. What you see on the right, you draw on the right. The end view is on the right, therefore we will draw it on the right. And finally, let's see the animation for the plan view. What you see from above, we draw above. Therefore, the plan view will always be drawn above the front view. Now, let me show you how to draw it. Before getting started, we need to find the dimensions for the crate. Let me help you with the dimensions. Pause the video and note down the dimensions for the crate. Draw a horizontal line. Draw the crate for the front view. Draw another horizontal line above the front view. Leave a space of 30 mm. You can use another value if you want. Draw the crate for the end view. Draw two vertical lines above the front view. Draw a mighty line from the front view. Draw projection lines to the plan view. Draw the crate for the plan view. Draw the front view. Draw projection lines to the end view. Draw the end view. Draw projection lines to the plan view. Draw the plan view. We have hidden details in this drawing. Let me help you out by watching an animation. There is a surface at the back of the end view which is hidden. Let's find it and draw it. Draw projection line to the end view. Draw the broken lines. However, the drawing is yet to be completed. The symbol of the third angle is different from the first angle symbol. Let's take a look at it. In the first angle projection, the truncated cone is on the left and the concentric circles are on the right. 
In third angle, it is the opposite. The concentric circles are on the left and the truncated cone is on the right. Obviously, there's a reason for why those symbols are as such, and maybe I will make a tutorial on this later. But for now, let's draw the symbol for the third angle projection. Take this dimension for the symbol. Thank you for watching.